climate change poses risks for people, ecosystems, and economies. Think of risk as probability times consequences. Some risks are high because the outcome has a high probability of occurring. Other risks are high because the consequences are very severe, even if the probability is low. Risk results from the interaction of hazards, exposure, and vulnerability. Let's take a look at what these terms mean. A hazard is an event or trend like a heat wave, wildfire, or coastal flood. Exposure is people, ecosystems, or assets at risk. Finally, vulnerability is susceptibility to harm or limited ability to cope and adapt. Risk of climate change impacts emerge from the interaction of hazards, exposure, and vulnerability. The frequency and intensity of hazards are affected by both natural variability and anthropogenic climate change. Now natural variability is our climate's natural tendency to vary from day to day or year to year. Anthropogenic climate change is different. People are changing the climate, especially through the emissions of heat-trapping gases. This human-caused climate change is warming the air and the oceans, melting snow and ice, and changing the occurrence of extreme events like heat waves and heavy rain. People are important in determining the risks of climate change. This is because society and its pathways also influence risk. These socioeconomic processes include changes in people's livelihoods, economies, and well-being over time, actions to reduce the amount of climate change that occurs and to prepare for impacts that can't be avoided, and the policies and operations of governments. Impacts can affect both society and the climate. Emissions of heat-trapping gases, along with land use change, lead to human-induced climate change. There are many ways we can reduce and manage the risks of climate change. There are low regrets options that reduce vulnerability and exposure, such as building safer homes, improving irrigation and drainage, and restoring ecosystems. There are also many tools available for anticipating impacts and reducing risks. Values, goals, and learning are important in responding to climate change. Reducing emissions of heat-trapping gases decreases the amount of climate change that will occur. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Working Group 2 Fifth Assessment Report assesses a wide variety of approaches for responding to the risks of climate change and building a more sustainable world.